Good afternoon everyone. Uh, my name is Sylvester. Yeah, I'm making this video just to check, uh, want to see uh, maybe this thing can be hackable. And if you can see, uh, this is MTN router and uh, it has a very good one. It's a very good one from MTN. So this is a router, mini router. Uh, so my wife, that's what we normally call it. So, and it's a new product. Uh, why do I have to bring this one? When you look at it, maybe it can be archival. Maybe other sim like from uh, from ISP can make use of it, like Ed, uh, Glow, or whatsoever. So that is what we want to do this afternoon. And um, as you can see, it's a new router, like I said. So it's functioning very well. So and I'm even advising people you can make use of it. It's a very good product. So and yeah, what, what what do we need to do? One, we need to do look at. Uh, which is email this is what we need for us to be able to hack it is i may e and also what is that things okay my password i don't want you guys to see it's uh, i already changed it no no so that's not an issue so what do we want to do now so what we just need to do is just for us to what what open open this place and and how do we open it we use this we use this pin use this pin to open it you just plug it plug it the way you open your phones just plug it here it will just pull out it so after pulling out you just remove it and you put this is the same and as you can see this is i'm putting airtel airtel sim to it and um, this is airtel just to confirm it this is airtel now airtel sim so that's what i want to put into the sim so that at least we'll see maybe it's archival now yeah so this is a slot what you just need to just plug it here hmm, this seems slot slot it in <coughs> Sorry. yes i put it in yes this is good i've already put it in now so what you are expecting to do now, we want to hunt, we'll just put up already, uh, plug this, this is my USB, I'll plug it to my laptop, and also you just what, just need to just pull it in, and after pulling it, you will do what, you will on it from here. Yes, it's showing green now. That means it's on. So, so now what do you want to use now? I have two applications that I want to use. One is for Empire Unlocked Mode. So that's what I want to use. That's what I want to use now. So let's see and watch. Let me check my camera. Let's see and watch. I've already plugged everything. That's all what I need. So, So let's see. This is my laptop now. I've already show you my laptop. So this is my laptop. Yeah. So from this place now, we should be able to do one or two things within ourselves. And I see. You can see this is my system. So now, what am I doing now? I want to see the software. This is the software I have now this is this this is a software actually you can see from this thing from these devices we see that it is from z which is z t e let's see let's look at it very well z l t so it's from z l t so likewise that's the same thing you need to we need to put here as you can see here now as you can see we have various ones here which is we have old we have uh, mo we have z t e we have away so this is one i can use for to getting my uh my to calculate my unlocking as you can see this is my flashing and unlocking code no, but basically, I've not even select what I really need. This is what I need. 
which is under this place what what we want to do now we just want to unlock read phone locked that's number one and also read unlock code so these are the two things you need to put here you need to enter the i m e i number so we just need to put it there what is the i m e number So let's just put the IME number here. We have uh, 8667380301010104209. So that is the MIA. Now, what we just want to do is just for us to be able to automatically, if it is archival, automatically, as you can see from this place, it should have generated us a what a a mode. So this is you can see mode. It should have generated us what we call our port number here, which is a port number. So, but since it is not, I will still explain that. And now, so we have already entered our our hammer MI here. So, what you just need to do is just what use this calculate so as you can see now from this place now it said nothing to do meaning that it is not archable as if it is archable it will have show us the uh, on the unlock code and that is unlock code that is what we'll be using to that's what you have used to unlock it to unlock it automatically to fish out every the details and the, the what is using who is using it and to fish out everything but so since because it is not archable so that is why i said nothing to do and moreover and again so you can change if you want to you can change it to different uh, to different ones which is this you can also change this and also applicable to it so automatically it does not show that so keep showing that and as you can see when i put this on Try error, detect comport, error detect comport, try to restart the system. So even if you restart it, it will not still not uh, still not to work. So that is the first application to that I want that I used. We call it what voda sheet. Voda sheet. So that is one application that I use. So uh, as you can see that that is the first application. The first application has already gone. So we need to look at the second method. So we want to look at the second method. The second method is just for us to just launch. We want to launch this one directly from uh, this uh, from our browser. So what we just need to launch is we have already installed our uh, mobile Wi-Fi on our desktop. So just launch it. So when you launch it. So that is one nine. 192 which is this 192 160 and this one so so we're we'll trying to launch it on the web browser Still not going. Let me pause it so maybe when it when I'm done, let me just pause. It. Uh so we okay, I'm unable to I'm able to yeah log in now. 
So as you can see, I'll put my uh, this thing, my password here, which is this. So I'll enter. So now, now if you ask me for this, which is please input unlock code. If I have the access to this unlock code, it is hackable. But if I don't have access to this code, there is no way I can hack it. Meaning that, and how do we generate this code? As you can see, it says this device is network locked. Please contact your service provider to get unlock code. So, meaning that the only lock the code can also only be gotten from the MTN. Sometimes it, it might interest you go to advanced device information, go to information, and you can see. You can see that SIM card number that is there is not indicated. It has already indicated this, this, the signal strength, change of name. No, that is not what we are after now. But what we are after is the which is the numbers that I want to generate. So from this point, if you copy this one and said, Oh, let me just go and paste it to, to that particular place. It's, it's my interest to go back home. Let's see. If you paste it. Now, let's see, this I need him. Is that what he need? No, that is not what he need. But all what he need is just the number from the MTN. So, meaning that it is hackable when you have the, when you have access to, to the number, which is to the, uh, to the number, if you can provide, if the network can provide, the network can provide it. And I don't know why it is not hackable because you are unable to get the code directly from any angle. So these are the two methods I tried to use to hack it, but all proof about it. So in view of that, so thank you. That is what I was able to achieve for today. Thank you very much. You no, know, I appreciate it. You know, super, very good, uh, very good device. You know, it is portable. Make, make, what makes me love it most is because of the portability. So anywhere I go, I put it in my pocket and. And it's working fine. Six hours I'm still using it. Why? Because the battery have a very good lifespan. So thank you. Get it.